This is a 15 day old, 15 day old rat. And the idea is to um, pick him up. Oops, pick him up. Oh my, he is so willful. Not like they were when they were younger. But anyway, okay, so we're gonna look at his um, naughty bits. And that is a boy. And you can see that he's got his little feet in the way there. Oh, I wish I could do this easier. It's just not easy with, without using two hands. Okay, let's look. All right, here we go. All right, there. All right, so there's a big space between his um, urethra, which is the little bump there. He's got a lot of swelling also between his anus and and his um, urethra. And then there aren't any obvious um, teats on his tummy. So all of those indications, plus he's white like his dad, so most likely in this um, litter of kittens, um, the white mice probably will be male, but not necessarily all of them. So um, trying to hold, hold them and handle them and talk to them so they get used to me, um, humans being uh, not a scary thing. And, um, uh, but anyway, that's, that was kind of, you could see pretty well that with the little males, they have a more of a pronounced urethra or ureter opening. So it's more of a little bump or uh, a button. And then there's a long space between um, the their urethra, urethral opening and their anus. And there's a little bit more of a pad or uh, a, a bulky a, a puffiness um, where the testes would be beneath the skin. And then here, here's a little squirt who's black and white, and the mom is black and white. So I'm going to just peek, peek at this one. Now this one, if we zoom in a little bit, is still got a, a mound. I can't eat, I can't tell. I'm thinking this is female because there are um, some uh, obvious teats showing, little circle dots on the tummy. And then um, the uh, the, ureth the urethra is not as uh, much of a bump. I'm sorry, don't get mad. Okay, I know you know you're just so feisty. Um, so let's look again. All right, get a good look at this. There we go. All right. So you can see that there are some little teats on the on the body. It's less puffy. It's closer. Supposedly, you can tell that. Um, the urethra. Oh, are you peeing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting stressed out. Okay. Uh, their eyes are open. It is day 15. They started opening their eyes on day 14. Um, no, what that? Is that his camera? Oh my goodness. Um, and uh, um, they're very active and starting to play in the food dish and eat food. So um, they're chewing on um, celery and leaves, um, kale, um, spinach, uh, apple cooked, sweet potato, and um, and and they're still eating for mom. And I did arrange a couple of um, water uh, um, bottles, and um, I don't know. They'll mom. They'll figure it out. Mom will teach them how to use use those although i have not seen any evidence of them doing that yet here you go everybody's getting sleepy now so that's an attempt there's dad big daddy and there's mom and tomorrow is critter nation day so they'll go from this little little house which is good for for them right now, but these babies are going to grow pretty quickly. Oh, my dad. This is Basil. He's very sleepy dad, and that's Rose, mama. And these are accidental rats, so I didn't mean to have these rats. My python didn't eat these guys, refused to eat them. And um, a lot of people have said, well, they'll refuse to eat rats if they are uh, pregnant. And I thought, well, that's weird because they're two boys. 
Well, five weeks later, I still had them, and uh, sure enough, I moved. I was moving them from uh, one room to another just to keep them used to being anywhere. And um, when I moved them, she got up, and and they love each other. Just so they feel me. Just so they feel us. Um. So anyway, this is not what I intended, but they are definitely a pair. They like each other. And, um, well, anyway, she moved and then there were a whole bunch of pink little squeaking things. And I'm like, Oh no, <laughs> no, this is not, the, this is not meant to be anyway. So now I'm just trying to learn as much as I can about baby rats. I've had rats for my kids years ago, but I, I never plan to do this again because they do have short lifespans and it's sad, you know, they just don't live long enough. Okay, that's it.